This meeting is being recorded. Captions in English, please. So this is the first video on chapter two. Chapter two is about measurements and calculations. And so here you have the list of the sections from the textbook and we will cover all of them. And so the first video is on scientific notation, the first section. So scientific method involves both qualitative and quantitative observations or measurements. We learned that in chapter one. And uh, in this chapter, we will talk about how to make measurements accurately and how to convert from one unit to another. So um, chemistry deals with very, very large numbers and very, very small numbers. Uh, for example, the diameter of an atom is 0 0.0000001 centimeters. And that's 100 millions of a centimeter wide. So, so it is very, very small, right? And it's very um, cumbersome to have to tell the number like this. Another example, uh, the distance from Earth to Sun is 150 billion uh, meters. 150 billion meters. Uh, it's a lot of zeros and, and it's uh, more likely that you can drop a zero, uh, especially if you don't use those commas every, uh, you know, thousands, 100 thousands, etc. Um, so um, to, to avoid uh, having to write such uh, long numbers with so many digits or especially so many zeros, um, scientific um, science, scientists and chemists uh, use the scientific notation, which allows us to write these values in a much simpler way. So the scientific notation is a system based on power of 10. For example, the number here is a number written in scientific notation. So it's comprised of a coefficient, the decimal part here. The coefficient must be a number between one and 10. It can be one. Um, uh, but it has to be a um, single digit uh, and then the decimal point. It cannot be uh, two digits, then the decimal point and then decimals. It has to be a single digit and then the decimal point and decimals. So a number between one and 10 and 10 not included. Uh, this is the base uh, and that's the power of 10. So it's multiplied by 10 to the power of the exponent. 22 here is the exponent. So for example, when we have 10 times 10 times 10, which is a thousand uh, in scientific notation, this would be written one times 10 to the third, because uh, it's like one times 10 times 10 times 10, three times, right? So it's one multiplied by 10 three times. And so 10 uh, multiplying by 10 three times is equivalent to say 10 to the third. And so instead of one, if we have five times 10 times 10 times 10, so times 10 three times, or five times a thousand, then in scientific notation, it's going to be five times 10 to the third again because it's five multiplied by 10 three times. Uh, uh, 220,000 would be equivalent to 2.2 times 100,000. And 100,000 is um, equivalent to uh, multiplying by 10 five times. So, then uh, 220,000 is in scientific notation would be 2.2 times 10 to the five or to the fifth power, right? Because uh, 100,000 is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So times 10, five times. And so 10 to the power of five. So one thing that is very important to remember is that a positive exponent means a large number. Positive exponent, large number, because you multiply you know, the exponent times by 10. 
Um, if instead we have you have one over ten times one over ten times one over ten, which is equivalent to one over a thousand, uh, the denominator is you know ten um, uh, multiplied by ten multiplied by ten, so a thousand. And so a thousand, we know it's uh, ten to the third, and so it's one over 10 to the third. And so in scientific notation, this would be written as 10 to the negative three. So it's one times 10 to the negative three. Notice how the exponent uh, becomes negative when if, if you start with an exponent that is positive in the denominator, uh, if you move it up to the numerator, then it becomes negative. You change the sign when you move from numerator to denominator or, or from the denominator to the numerator, you need to change the sign of your exponent. Let's look at another example, 0 0.00078. This is equivalent to 7.8 times 1 over 10,000 or um, you know, one over 10,000 is like one over tens multiplied by tens multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10. So it's equivalent to one over 10 to the fourth because you multiply by 10 four times you know, in the denominator. And one over 10 to the fourth is one, uh, is one times 10 to the negative four. Right, you move the exponent, you know, 10 to the fourth to the numerator and it becomes 10 to the negative four in the numerator now. And so uh, 7.8, uh, 0 0.00078 would be uh, in scientific notation, 7.8 times 10 to the negative four, because it's equivalent to 7.8 divided four times by 10. That's how you should read this, 7.8 divided four times by 10. So notice here how a negative exponent means a small number. Very important distinction here. Negative exponent means a number with a lot of zeros in front. So what is the procedure for writing a number in scientific notation? So first you want to find the decimal point of your uh, regular number. So for example, if we have 25,000, uh, the decimal point is not shown, it's implied uh, to be uh, to the right of the last zero here. Uh, it's only implied, but we know it's there. And then count how many places you need to move the decimal point over, so over to the left or over to the right, depending on uh, your number, to find a coefficient uh, that it will be between 1 and 10, 10 not included. So. Here in the example, we will move the decimal point to the left because uh, it's a large number and we need to make it a number between one and 10. So we need to move towards the two and the five. And we will move one, two, three, four times. And so four places to the left, that means, uh, and we stop between the two and the five because that's where we reach a number between one and 10. And so we have 2.5 times 10 to the fourth. 10 to the fourth because we have moved four times to the left. And so a, uh, a large number like 25,000 has a positive exponent when it's in the scientific notation. Right, the four is the number of places we moved. Let's look at another example. 272 uh, um, million. So here, the decimal point again is to the right of the last zero, it's implied. And so we will move it to the left again because we need to make this a small number between one and 10. And so we need to go towards the 2.72. And to get a number between one and 10, we need to stop uh, you know, after the seven to the left of the seven. So it's gonna be moving one to, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times to the left. And so then we have a number between one and 10, 2.72 times 10 to the eight. We use the, num the exponent eight because we moved eight times to the left. And it's positive because we started with a very large number.
So uh, let's look at other examples of writing a number in scientific notation. We have 0 0.0000032. So to make it a number between 1 and 10, we will move the decimal point to the right and we will move it one, two, three, four, five, six times to the right until we reach a number between one and 10, and that's gonna be 3.2. So six places to the right, and until we reach 3.2, and we multiply that by 10 to the negative six. So here, uh, six comes from the fact that we moved six places to the right, and it's negative because we started with a small number. Uh, let's look at the second example. Uh, again, we will need to move uh, the decimal point to the right uh, to make it a number between 1 and 10. And that's going to be four times until we reach 1.38. And we will multiply that by times 10 to the negative 4 because we moved four times. And it's a negative exponent because we started with a very small number. Negative 3,291. Uh, the decimal point this time, we need to move it to the left. Oh, sorry, to the left uh, until we are between the three and the two because we want a number between one and 10. So three places uh, to the left and that's gonna be negative 3.291. And you multiply by 10 to the negative, uh, to the third, sorry, to the third positive exponent here because we started with a large number in the 3000. So it's times 10 to the third, which is a thousand. And then you would get back a negative 3291. 50, how do we change this in scientific notation? Uh, here, the decimal point is again to the right of the zero. To make it a number between one and 10, we would move it one time, one time to the left. And so that means uh, it's five and times 10 to the one because we moved one place only to the left. And uh, that's a large, you know, 50 is a large number. And so it's a positive exponent. So, in uh, conclusion, what you observed is that if the decimal point is moved to the left, uh, the power of 10 will be positive. For example, in 345, uh, the dot is after the five, you move it two times to the left and you get 3.45 times 10 to the two. So the second power. So it's a positive power uh, because we started with a large number. I do not recommend remembering from, you know, if you move to the left or the right, because when you do the reverse process of changing numbers from, uh, reg from a scientific notation to regular notation, you will move the opposite way. And this, is, this can become very confusing. So what you need to remember is that positive e exponent means that you had a large number. And so if the decimal point is moved to the right, the power of 10 is negative. Uh, but again, what I recommend uh, remembering is that, uh, you know, a small number like 0 0.0671, uh, you will move the decimal point to the right here, two places between the zero and six and then between the six and seven. So you will have 6.71 because that's your number between one and 10 multiplied by 10 to the negative two. This time the power is negative two because you move two places um, and you move to the uh, right here. But what you want to remember is that you started with a small number, so you want a negative exponent. Please remember negative exponent, small number, positive exponent, large numbers. So let's um, write. Uh, a number from scientific notation back into uh, um, an ordinary form or a, you know regular notation or standard notation and your calculators call that even a floating point notation. So we have these two examples of numbers written in scientific notation. Let's uh, 
write them back into their ordinary form. So 2.1 10 to the fifth, um, it's a positive exponent, which means it's a large number. You will, and, and here 10 to the fifth means you will need to multiply by 10 five times. So 2.1 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And that's, um, you know, um, 210,000. You moved fly, five places to the right. And if we confirm that, you, you go from 2.1 and you move one, two, three, four, five times to the right. And so that's uh, 210,000, a large number because the exponent was large. Uh, the next example is a negative exponent. So we expect a small number. So that means you will need to move the decimal point to the left to make it a small number. Um, so here we will need to add zeros in front of the six. So you will need to um, add zeros, seven um, zeros, then the, the decimal point is between the, the first two. So from the 6.25, you move seven times, and each time you need to add a zero. And so the best is to write the number and then verify afterwards that you uh, move exactly seven times from the 6.25 to uh, 0 0.000000625, right? So that's how you would write the number in ordinary form. So you see how, you know, depending on if you are going from a scientific notation to regular notation or the reverse, you will move one way or the other. So that's why it's not a good way to remember, um, you know, uh, which way uh, you move if it's a positive exponent or negative exponent. What you want to remember is that negative exponents are small numbers and positive exponents are large numbers. So how do we compare numbers in scientific notation? First, you want to compare exponents because uh, you don't need to compare more than the exponents. If they are very different, that will be enough to uh, compare them. But if the exponents are the same, then you will need to compare the coefficients. Coefficients, remember, are the decimal parts. So which number are larger in each pair, for example? 3.2 10 to the negative 7 or 4.5 10 to the negative 7. So here the exponents are the same, negative 7. So then uh, we need to compare the uh, coefficient because the exponent here don't matter, they are the same. So between 3.2 and 4.5, uh, then 4.5 is the larger number. Let's look at another example, 5, 10 to the negative 3 or 5, 10 to the negative 1. Which one is the larger number? So here you look at the exponent only and you have negative 3 and negative 1. Um, so remember that 10 to the negative 3 means you divide 3 times by 10. And 10 to the negative 1 means you divide only one time by 10. So dividing five by one time by 10 will make it a, a larger number than dividing it three times by 10. So the five 10 to the negative one will be the larger number. Let's compare 2.3 10 to the third or 1.8 10 to the eighth. Again, compare the exponents only and we have 10 to the third and 10 to the eighth. 10 to the third means you multiply three times by 10. 10 to the 8 means you multiply 8 times by 10. So multiplying 8 times by 10 will be defini definitely be a larger number, whatever the uh, you know, coefficient is. So that's going to be the largest number uh, between the two. So let's do a concept check. And this time you need to uh, pull down uh, some papers, pencil, and work this out on your own before you watch the answer. It is important to practice. So we have, uh, write uh, the first numbers there uh, in standard scientific notation. So we have uh, 4 million and 5,000. So the decimal point is to the right of the last zero 
And so we will need to move the decimal point to the left to make it a number between uh, one and 10. And we will need to move it, uh, you know, six times when, until we reach the, you know, the right of the fourth. So six times until we have 4.005 and we will multiply by 10 to the six, right? We moved six times. So we need to make it a power of six and it's a positive exponent because we started with a large number. The next number uh, 0 0.0000560, that's uh, a small number. And the decimal point will need to move to the right until we reach uh, between the five and the six. And so that means we move one, two, three, four, five times to the right until we have 5.6 and we keep the zero after that, um, 5.60 times 10 to the negative five. So the five, it's because we have moved five times to the right and it's negative because we started with a small number. And uh, the zero after the six is significant. So that's why we have to write it down. You will learn that when you go over uh, significant figures. Uh, example C, 6.0. Write this in scientific notation. So you will tell me, but that's already a number between one and 10. And that's correct, which means you will move zero times the decimal point, right? So you can still write it in scientific notation by doing 6.0, you keep it the same, times 10 to the zero. The zero here indicates that you moved zero times the decimal point. And 10 to the zero, if you do that in your calculator, it's equal to one. 10 to the power zero is equal to one. So it's equivalent to do 6.0 times one which is exactly 6.0. So now write uh, the following numbers in scientific notation back into ordinary numbers. First example, 6.02 times 10 to the seven. So uh, we will need to move the decimal point to the right because we have a positive exponent, which means a large number. So we need to make it large by moving the decimal point to the right and we need to move it uh, seven times. So um, that's gonna be uh, 60 million, 200,000. So let's verify we moved it seven times. So from 6.02, so you move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And uh, that's the number. Um, positive exponent means a large number. And notice how we do not uh, write down the decimal point here because uh, the zeros are not significant. The zeros that come after the two are not significant. You will learn that uh, later on. Uh, 5.4, 10 to the negative six. Um, that's a negative exponent, which means we will need to move the decimal point to the right sorry to the left to make it a small number so from the 5.4 here you move to the left uh, six places right because 10 to the negative six means we need to move six places to the left and let's verify that one two three four five six times and you put your dot there and that's your number so negative exponent means a small number 9.0022 10 to the negative two. Again, negative exponent. So we will need to move the decimal point to the left to make it a small number. So we keep the 90022 and then move to the left one, two times and put the decimal point there. So small um, number because we have a, a negative exponent. <clears throat> 